Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is my top 10 ladder matches of all time. These change when an occurrence is always, guys. You know, I can say to you, this is definitely my top 10 matches here. Um, but then you give me two weeks, I've sat and watched a few more and it's totally changed. So, we're going to say this is my top 10 as of just now. As you can see, we're back in the old spot. The Christmas tree isn't behind us. Because I'm going to be recording a few of these in a kind of row, so that then I won't have to do it kind of going forward. Also, I've been sitting watching matches and wrestling for about fucking eight hours, just getting this stuff prepared on like what I'm going to write down and stuff like that. So uh, I decided just to pop up on the couch um, and keep the tree for the cool little uh, segments that we do. So guys, let's get in here. So my top 10 ladder matches, number 10 is Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart, 1992. The first ladder match in WWE. I know there's things that people say, oh, there was ones that happened later on, sorry, earlier on, stuff like that. I think this would be classed as definitely the first set out ladder match. Um, it's not great. It's not the best match that these guys have together. And it's definitely not something that like you'd be like, oh, this is, the best ladder match ever, but it has to be on the list since it was one of the first, well, was the first. Secondly, I've got Razor, Razor? <laughs> Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 10. Now this, this match is more um, what people believe, but perceive is great than what it actually is great. Now it is a good match, don't get me wrong, but definitely there is better ladder matches that happen in WWE. Um, but it was just the meaning of this one. This one put the ladder match on the map and definitely is like the beginning of where the ladder match formation came from. Jeff Hardy, well, number eight, Jeff Hardy versus Undertaker. December 17th, 2001 Raw. Uh, this match, honestly, this made people take Jeff a little bit more serious as a main event competitor. Like, literally, I remember people thinking he could possibly win the WWE Championship here. <laughs> um, made him take him more serious as a main event competitor. Um, the Undertaker was playing a heel and he kind of gave some respect and stuff like that. So it was really cool. This was such a good match and such a fun, um, such a fun match creating a star, pretty much. Then number seven, Brian Kendrick. And Paul London versus the Hardy Boys versus Eminem versus William Regal and Dave Taylor. I always forget Regal and Taylor were in this. Armageddon 2006. This was the match where Joey, D Joey Mercury... <laughs> Sorry guys. Joey Mercury <laughs> nose burst everywhere. Um, honestly, when they set up that... In the, the ladders like that and he was there... And <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It really was a... Yeah, it was one of those <laughs> horrible matches with the blood everywhere and stuff like that. It was just, it was just horrible. And I know he got took away into hospital and stuff during the match, but um, yeah, it was horrible and definite. But it was a great match <laughs> right up until then and after then. But it was a great match. The Rock vs. Triple H nineteen ninety eight SummerSlam is one of my favorite ladder matches of all time. I love both guys in this. I think this is just before they were who they go on to become. Um, sorry guys, just dropped my pen. <laughs> uh, just who to go before they go on to become, and this is definitely a match on the the road to becoming Triple H in the Rock. Number five is Loki versus Jerry Lynn versus AJ Styles in TNA. I love this one. Lynn picking up the win was just awesome. These guys put on a great match, and it definitely was a, a great TNA ladder match, triple threat as well. Number four, Chris Jericho versus Shawn Michaels, No Mercy 2008. A great match. Honestly, a really great match. The rivalry between Jericho and Michaels kind of was been going on and uh, Jericho retained the World Championship at this point, but de this was definitely one of their best matches that they have, in my opinion. Number three, Eddie Guerrero versus six, or X-Pac, at WCW Sold Out 1997. This was a fantastic fucking ladder match. Both guys were just good and they worked like hell. It really was a great match. Number two, Money in the Bank, WrestleMania 21. The very first Money in the Bank. 2005, I think it was. The first ever Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, and it definitely, Edge winning it. 
the, everybody in it was doing good and obviously it was just like a new match like a six way ladder match pretty much to go up and get this thing that you could cash in at any point so it was a new thing and it would just felt new and fresh something that we didn't experience in wrestling in a while it didn't seem new and fresh nothing really seemed new um, and this felt new and it was really cool I enjoyed this honestly I thought this was when I first seen it I fell in love with the Money in the Bank match and it's something I look forward to at Wrestlemania for the years after um, I don't enjoy Money in the Bank as much anymore I don't like it as I've been a pay per view things like that but this was definitely something that was I look forward to part for Wrestlemania number one guys Edge and Christian Versus the Hardy Boys, versus the Dudley Boys, WrestleMania 2000. I think this is probably the best TLC ladder match ever. Um, these guys had their TLC matches, ladder matches, table matches. Everything that they done was great. And this was definitely, has to be up here because these guys put the ladder match where it is for this day. Anyway guys, that's my top 10 at the moment. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you there. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and that notification bell. And I'll see you here when I see you guys. There's going to be a bunch of videos over this Christmas time. Um, I'm only going to have a couple of days off here and there. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy the content that's getting put up. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.